वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री लव हर लॉन्ग एगो आई अपलोडेड वन वीडियो रिगार्डिंग हुई चैप्टर्स यू शुड रीड फ्रॉम क्लेडन फॉर सी एस आई नेट एंड गेट एग्जाम एंड सिंस देन आई एम गेटिंग लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट फॉर मेकिंग ए वीडियो ऑन हुई वीडियो हुई चैप्टर्स यू शुड रीड फ्रॉम क्लेडन फॉर जैम एग्जाम एंड दैट्स वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू 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 डे इन दिस वीडियो and uh, before that i want to make one thing clear that so these are the two books mm, of cl- two versions of cladin this the right hand side this one is the uh, first edition and this green one is the second edition now many people ask me that which edition you should read which is good so basically both books are same it doesn't matter you can read whatever you want and another uh, version of cladin is available which is second edition but the uh, on the front page the color is white so basically both are same this green front page and white front page both are same there is no difference you can read any of these two right i think one is indian uh, edition or uh, maybe uh, asian edition another one is for the western countries that is the difference but content is same so you can read any of the one now let's uh, start our today's uh, video that is which chapters you should read from clarin for your uh, bsc and jam right so i will suggest you the chapters from this new edition that is second edition book but uh, you can find the same thing in the first edition also so just follow one of them now this pdf of this book is easily available online you can search in google and you can easily get it right so uh, let us go to the content so these are the contents now uh, there are how many chapters there are in this edition you have 43 chapters right but you don't need to read all the chapters for your uh, for your exact syllabus because all the ch- all the content is not mentioned in the syllabus so you should read uh, whatever they are in the syllabus right so that i will tell that which are there so i revised the um, uh, syllabus of jam exam and bsc syllabus of different universities and other uh, msc entrance exams and then i uh, come to the conclusion and i will tell you that which chapters you should read from this book so uh, first you should read this chapter 6 the nucleophilic addition right so first you should read this chapter nucleophilic addition to the carbonyl group chapter 6 then chapter 7 the delocalization and conjugation so these chapters you should read completely right S- then uh, chapter 8 acidity basicity and pk chapter 9 uh, organometallic reagents that is the that is the grignard and all other o- organometallic reactions chapter 10 the nucleophilic substitution uh, uh, at the carbonyl group that is another important chapter chapter 11 the nucleophilic substitution at uh, carbonyl with the loss of carbonyl oxygen that is another important chapter now uh, this one the h1 nmr now this chapter you can read it from here or you can read from any other spectroscopy book but i find that whatever there in this book it is given in a very concise way and it is very useful so i will suggest you to read it once but if you want to read it from any other specialist book on a spectroscopy like pavia or any other book that is also fine then chapter 15 the nucleophilic substitution at saturated carbon atom chapter 17 the elimination reaction and again this uh, this chapter the review of spectroscopic method this chapter is also useful because uh, the the way in which it is presented in this book i find it very useful right so you can consider it reading once mm, again you if you want to read it from any uh, specialist book on spectroscopy that you can do but uh, here it is given in a very concise way and it is useful next is the electrophilic addition to alkene chapter 19 chapter 20 is also important the formation of enol and enolates okay now uh, the next one is the electrophilic aromatic substitution then conjugate addition and nucleophilic aromatic substitution and this chemoselectivity and protecting group this chapter is given in a very nice way in this book so you must read it now the next two uh, chapters which i am going to suggest you is the regioselectivity and alkylation of enolate now i use uh, i used yolo uh, yolo 
pen for this for marking there is a reason for that the red marking whatever i did till now that chapters you should read completely thoroughly but the regio selectivity and this alkylation of enolates uh, it is given in a very elaborate way in this book and you don't need to read all the things so you have to read selective uh, topics from these two particular chapters that's why i marked it with yellow color and i will tell in another video that which uh, things you should read or uh, after uh, looking at the exact syllabus and previous year questions you can decide that which things you should read from these two two chapters right so this is the thing the next chapter is the reaction of enolate with carbonyl compound the aldol and claisen reaction there are many important and interesting examples which are given in this book so this is again a very important chapter from this book the next one is the reaction of sulfur silicon and phosphorus based reagent again i should use the mm, yellow color for this because not all the reactions you have to read from here you have to read selective reactions from here and that i will uh, suggest you in another video and now these two chapters the heterocyclic compounds these two are very very important chapters from this book you must read the whole uh, chapter on this two the reaction and the synthesis of heterocyclic compound if you read the whole chapter from this book you don't need to read any other book regarding this aromatic heterocycle so these two ch two chapters are very important the next is the saturated heterocyclic and e stereoelectronic now here you will find baldwin's rule and anomeric effect and all these things so again this is a very interesting chapter i will suggest you to read the whole chapter but if you don't want to read that is also fine you have to read selective things like anomeric effect the baldwin's rule and few other things uh, you can read it from here now uh, from chapter 33 you don't need to read the whole chapter but you read you need to read this particular section the addition of carbonyl group sorry addition to the carbonyl group which can be diastereo selective that is it, it talks about the cramps rule and felkinan model so this is the only thing which you have to read from this particular chapter next is the pericyclic now again for pericyclic reaction the whole syllabus is not there uh, in the jam or any bsc syllabus only you have to read the introductory thing of pericyclic reaction the diels alder reaction the general description you don't need to read the deep deeper things like the endo rule and all this thing you don't need to read you you, you just have to know the overview of uh, diels alder reaction and overview of sigma tropic rearrangement and electrocyclic reaction so just the woodward hopman rule if you want you can read that is not actually in the syllabus but if if you wa want you can read so you have to read the overview of these three uh, topics okay the next thing is participation rearrangement and fragmentation this is very important chapter you need to read the whole chapter very uh, carefully so this is the chapter from where direct question comes from this uh, book so you will find direct example from this book here radical reaction uh, you know you, if you want you read the whole chapter but if you don't want to read the whole chapter you can read selective things from this particular chapter the next is the uh, reaction of carbene the synthesis of carbene again uh, whatever you want you can read from this chapter the examples are important because question comes directly from here now these are the chapters which you should read from claden for your bsc and uh, jam exam basically right the msc level entrance exam now uh, the next thing which i am going to tell is very important that is only claden is not a uh, I will not suggest you to read only Clayton for the BSc and JAM, right? So another book you should read along with Clayton is the book Peter Sykes. So this book is very important for BSc and any chemistry student must read this book. So uh, this cha this is a very thin book. You can finish it very easily and along along with Clayton you must read this book. So all the chapters from this book from chapter 1 to chapter uh, 11 all these chapters you should read thoroughly in Clayden things are given in a very elaborate way you you in in your BSc level you cannot read the whole thing right so you can read whatever you want you cannot read the whole thing but this book whatever is given you can read the whole thing thoroughly and that's why I am suggesting this book so I will suggest you to read this Peter Sykes book along with Clayton and this book will help you to find what is actual syllabus 
so uh, my suggestion is uh, read this book along with Clayden first uh, finish this book all the chapters and then um, also read the same chapter from Clayden because you will see that whatever given in this book that is also given in the Clayden but in this book th all the things are given in a concise way and it is the exact syllabus of your BSc so this book will uh, help you to determine your syllabus right so this that is important uh, and if you read these two books from uh, uh, two books uh, in the way I suggested uh, you will do a very good result and you will also build up a very good concept of organic chemistry so that's all uh, let me know in the comment section that uh, how you feel the video uh, whether the video is helpful for you or not share this video with your friends and in some next video I will try to uh, make a video on the selective things of a particular chapter like the diastereo selectivity or like the um, participation reaction so i will find a particular chapter from clarin and i will try to suggest you that how you should read the chapter which topics are important which particular section is important i'll try to do that so that's all thank you for watching